Okay, here I am in Cairo, if you don't already know, and uh, I'm uh, standing on a bridge over half of the River Nile. What it is is, this is an island, and the Nile splits off this way, comes half of it on this side, and the other half on the other side goes around the island. And now, uh, the important thing in my quest here is, my Ichabod Admin quest is along here, is the map shows me that there's the meeting point over there, right along, somewhere in that tree line, because this is the street. I gotta find the right intersection, and I'll show you, and I think there's a certain irony, there's a certain irony in the fact that, um, supposedly this meeting, this old meeting building, it's supposed to be a small little house, actually has a tree growing right through it, and uh, there's some symbology there, because it's the same with Ichabod's, well, empty gravestone, if you've seen that video of the gravestone rubbing, you see a tree growing right out of that grave, which is interesting. So now this meeting point is in a small, old, run-down building, abandoned, that has a tree growing out of it. I mean, growing right out of it. So that's what, that's what the message is. So we're going to find out. We're going to take a look at that tree and that building. So, oh, I'm scouting out the meeting point during the day because I, 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 I want to make sure I don't... I, I th at night, I don't think I could find it. This is just crazy. So I'll find it during the day, know exactly where it is, and then that way I can go back for the rendezvous at midnight. Well, here we go. I'm walking down Colm, uh, Alm Colsom Street, right there. And here's the place. Look at that. It's a, it's a tree growing right out of a, well, kind of a home, I guess. But there's a complex, an old abandoned little complex there. See, isn't that amazing? And I don't know what kind of trees those are. Eucalyptus or something. See, so that's the spot. It's just amazing. Look at that. Tree growing right out of the darn building. And uh, uh, let me see if you can see that. But well, you can see the trees right inside the building. Right through it. Can you see that? So this is going to prove I will be coming back to my rendezvous. I found it. I'll be coming back to my rendezvous and I'll have to figure out how to get in here because a lot of it's all fenced off. Kind of nice. Imagine that, huh? Well, it's almost 1 a.m. And I just came out of my meeting with that. Uh, guy in a little shack with the tree growing out of it on the side of the Nile River and it went well but uh, it was pretty intense uh, evidently this guy is a knight of the order Kalos Sculptoris and I'll fill you in more on this probably when I get back to my hotel room but it's late now and this city's freaking never this city seriously doesn't sleep it's a 24 hour thing although the traffic is a little less than it was during the day but there you can see the Niles right there well if you can see it there's a hotel on the other side of the Nile, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, I'm going to take a I'm going to hail a taxi back to the hotel. Try to make sense of some of this stuff. He did give me instructions on how to make the the sword, and he did give me more information. And I'll be giving you more of that, and you'll you'll see. But pretty intense, pretty intense meeting. You know, kind of. He asked me a lot of questions, but I'm kind of glad to be out of there. Okay, I just wanted to fill you in here. I, um, it's very late at night. It's about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I just got back <clears throat> from my meeting with a, with a guy at the, uh, on the little street off the side of the Nile, and I told you, I think, well, it depends on how I edit these videos, but I think I already told you that he gave me more instructions, and he also gave me the... I guess you call them blueprints on how to make the the uh, lightning sword, and they're inside this tube here. And he told me, he said it's very important that I don't open this until I get back home, he, uh, because they didn't want customs to find them. Because I'll be, of course, searched when I go through customs, and you know they don't want these to turn up. So what he did was he sealed this with a. Well, he told me it's sealed with an official custom stamp that the that the um, <clears throat> that the customs have been paid for on it. So when I go through customs, they won't open it. They'll just see that it's been paid for. I don't know if you can read that there. 
but there's a stamp and this, this tube is sealed and there's a stamp on it so and these are the directions on how to build the sword or inside here you can hear it it's a, I'm bouncing around in there so I will I won't be able to show I will show you these directions I'll open this up after I get back home